Hello and good evening. Welcome to Stutter Pot TV news episode today. Let's check it out. Released police body cam video and the investigation into what it shows a police dog attacking an unarmed black man as he was trying to surrender. And what now? We want to warn you, of course, that some of the video you're about to see is tough to watch. So, ABC's Alex Perche joins us now with more. Good morning to you, Alex. Good morning, Gio. Yes, this video is tough to watch, and it's raising some big questions about use of force and also jurisdiction when multiple law enforcement agencies respond to a scene. This morning, growing outrage over this police body camera footage showing an officer releasing a canine to attack an unarmed black driver surrendering after a highway chase. It happened about an hour and a half south of Columbus. Officers tried to pull Jadarius Rose over. Now, some may say the police officer wasn't wrong because he made them chase him in a hot pursuit suit. That's not the question here. The question is, was it justified of him releasing that dog on that young man? That is the question. Because that's also called, he's also considered an officer because he's a canine. Just like if you can kill one of them, it's considered you're killing an officer. So he has a duty just like the uh, uh, human being has a duty. starting the chase. Rose at one point stopping. Get out of the truck! And as officers ordered him out of the rig at gunpoint, he took off again. Seven minutes later in the video, police able to slow him down using spike strips. As Rose gets out of the cab, his hands in the air surrendering, a highway patrolman spots Circleville police officer Ryan Speakman approaching with his canine, warning Speakman not to use the dog. Do not release the dog with his hands up. Do not release the dog. As Rose gets on his knees, Officer Speakman commands the dog to attack. Get the dog off of it! The dog passed him. He commanded him to attack this young man. That's just an abuse of power. And he's standing out there with his colleagues telling him not to do it. Now, one thing I must say, he works for a different police office, police force than the one that's told him not to do it. But they all law enforcement officers. One officer seen covering her face as they work to pry the dog off of Rose's arm. What do you mean? Nobody trying to hurt. Oh, yeah, stop, I did stop. I don't About feel safe. Miles ago. That highway patrolman who warned against using the. And they justifying it. Twenty miles ago. That they must have been on his side. Uh, other law, because these officers here. I'm pretty sure that told him not to do it on this side of the street has a lot to say about it. K9 later heard talking to colleagues. Was that not loud enough? You yeah, said it three, yeah, four like miles a time. If the officers feel that there is a, clearly a. He asked, Did I say it loud enough? One of his colleagues on that side of the street replied three or four m multiple times. Well, he might not have heard him because he was on the other side of the street. That could be some people's gripe. But my gripe is why release him at all when the man has his hands up and he's not a threat. Safety issue for the officers or citizens in the proximity, they may well use a dog. But the point being, you can't send a dog without getting into excessive force issues That's right. with somebody with their hands up. Rose was given first aid and taken into custody. Circleville's police department tells ABC News the incident is being investigated by the Use of Force Review Board. And Rose again was unarmed, according to Highway Patrol. He told troopers that he was just trying to make deliveries in the area and make it back home. The NAACP Columbus chapter president says that she was afraid for Rose and traumatized after watching that video. Janae? It certainly was tough to watch, Alex. So why did he flee if he didn't have no warrant? He didn't have anything in the car, the truck. He wasn't being uh, combative. He had his hands up, but he did make him chase him. So to stop that type of stuff from happening, do what the officer says. The officer says, stop, that's what you should do. So he put himself in a predicament as well. It doesn't 
uh, justify what the officer done, but if he just stopped in the beginning and said, look, I don't have this, I don't have that, none of this would have happened to the young man. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for... So, this has been an eye-opening episode of Stutterpot TV. Just wanted to bring you guys' attention to stop and do whatever the police says if you're not dirty or if you are dirty. Don't make, don't make them do nothing to harm you. But don't do nothing to harm yourself. Laws are made to be broken only by us, evidently. So I feel sorry for the young man. I hope he get well. The body footage will show more and more on what happened, but right now they're not releasing it. So to all my people out there, do what you fucking told. No, I was just joking. <laughs> Check out the ABC News YouTube channel.